Alarms, they fight. E falls. For a long time, this has been this happy, honky hunting ground. Though its application is scaled, power is key to sustain deceit. To lose it in a superficial lie simply halts its immediate utility. We are still on the ground and can step back and introduce an alternative subterfuge to divert attention from the bent area. Of course, there isn't any fixity equivalent to land in the realm of cons, rather all swimming. That means that while we stay afloat, we may count on a certain residual surface turpitude to keep the dupe rattled, ripe, idafos. Certainly, when a full-blown viral con's going, its manufacturers can count on such turbo momentum. However, a real loss of power, such as a change in governance or a systematic change in information technology, may cause over time a substantial drain. This may tear the MK marks away. If the game's not swiftly adapted, a gap then may form and its roots exposed. For the dupe, it'll be the equivalent of that fairy tale moment the scales fell from her eyes. Such moments of clear vision may become attached retrospectively to the residual power of the former deluded state, which may result in violent reversal. But this is rare. Again, one may count on momentum as well as the near universal human tendency to prefer anything, including delusion, to facing the potential emptiness its evisceration may entail. To use that momentum, however, assuming we do not actually want an outright collapse and disruption of life pattern and other inconveniences, including criminal prosecution, for example, we must control the terms of its inevitable dismemberment. Information surges may be applied, degrading the signal by methodically introducing ample ambiguities, or cast adrift so many mildly plausible lines to follow that substance becomes intermingled interminably with shadow. Or if we control the images, we control the culture. Moreover, we may even cut the lie open ourselves, which serves the function of both separating us from its wreckage, as well as seeming to be the hero of the story, or the frog becomes a prince. History is rife with such master reverse cons, just as it is with revolutions, state crafts, crash sites. T-L-A-R and kills M, who falls. A stands over him. 
They sit. Welcome to Earth House. Welcome to Hive of Tragic Activity. I am a stainless fish. In the fountain, a pure virgin gasped. Silence, stillness, pink light through closed eyelids. Ditty, 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 ditty. Nobody knows what handholds may happen under a table, but we can't see there from here, going forth with torches to fetch back fire from hell to light our way ahead, she sang. Consciousness is oracular and built underground in the beehive style derived from African ghost houses. Dressed in rose petals, psychomantic priestesses preside in this navel shrine through which the spiraled pythons cunningly entwined. A lapping sound is heard in the dark, queer, bat-like voices, the peeping and muttering of souls. No march within. A startling thought occurs to me. Maybe they don't much know much more about us than we do about them. Perhaps the thoroughly developed policy of no one knowing anything he or she doesn't absolutely have to know is a two-way street, even to the point where they aren't entirely sure who they are themselves. We all slide, like beef, slabs, slip and float, off. My kingdom, My kingdom for a coke. coke. My kingdom, My kingdom for, a for a coke. My kingdom, My kingdom for, a for a coke. My kingdom for a coke. End transmission.